It is really important to have this conversation about drug value today because one out of four people in our country cannot afford their prescription drugs. And the average cost of specialty drugs today is over $50,000, which is higher than the median income of what people make in our country. It's going to be very difficult, frankly, to figure out what value means to a lot of different people in a lot of different places. What represents value to someone who is healthy would probably be very different from someone who's looking at it from a perspective of perhaps as a patient when they're sick. So it's going to require a lot of work, a lot of feedback, and a lot of input from a lot of different stakeholders before we're really going to be able to pin that down. The value of a drug has to be looked at in several different ways. One, we need to make sure that it's actually providing the health value that it promises. Two, it needs to be affordable both for individuals and for society as a whole. What we're seeing increasingly is a lot of conflict over what the prices are, whether people can access them, and whether people should be insulated from those costs. If the prices are set too high, it really makes it impossible to have comprehensive coverage. Some of the more promising ways to pay for value are really only paying for what works. With these very expensive therapies, we need to make sure that we're paying for what we're getting. And one way to do so is to make sure that the outcomes are aligned with payments. So if a drug doesn't work, we're not gonna pay for it. But if it does work, we need to make sure that we're paying for that value. We are very much in the infancy of alternative payment models, innovative payment schemes. Science and medicine are making tremendous breakthroughs. And it's critical that we have payment models and different arrangements that would allow us to be as innovative in our treatment approaches and our medicine for how they're paid for as we are in our labs. And I think we really have to take a no blame approach. We really do need to hear everybody's perspective and make sure that we're moving forward together for the benefit of our patients and our society. We've been kind of tolerating high prescription drug prices for so long and the idea that we're finally trying to move in the direction towards paying for what works and what matters and what brings value to the system is really important. And these preliminary conversations are great in terms of bringing everyone together and making sure all the appropriate perspectives are in the room. One of the great things about forums like this is our ability to bring experts together, some of the leading people in the field to talk about the issues that they've studied intensively over time and share those thoughts. I think it will help push the dialogue along. It'll help us internally think about how we think about these problems and figure out how we at Kaiser Permanente can bring forward solutions as well. Mm -hmm.